Hi everyone, welcome to Dongarami Korean. In this video, you will learn about level of speech in Korean. So some of you who have already studied Korean a little bit may have found that expressions that you learned in textbooks are different from what you hear in K-dramas or lyrics of Korean songs. This is all because in Korean, you use different levels of speech depending on the situation. For example, the way you speak to older people and the way you speak to younger people are different. Also, the type of speech that most textbooks teach is different from the type of speech that Koreans use in daily lives. And before getting into this concept, a little background information about Korean culture will help you understand this. So, in Korea, manner or courtesy is very important, especially regarding your age. So it has always been said from long, long ago that you have to respect the elderly and you have to be polite to others. And this culture is well reflected in the language. An example that a lot of people know now is the expression oppa and onni. In most other cultures, you just call your name with you just call people by their names regardless of their age. But in Korea, you have the terms brother or sister if they are older than you. And this is to show respect to older people. Like this, sentences are also conjugated to different forms depending on the situation and the relationship with the speaker. And this is what we call the term level of speech. So, there are many, many levels of speech in Korean. But basically, it's divided by two ways. First, the formality of the situation, and second, the relationship of the speakers. Depending on the formality of the situation or place, you choose between formal and informal type of speech. And depending on the age or closeness of the speakers, you have to choose between polite form and casual form. There are three types of speeches that is most frequently used in current modern Korean language honorific, polite, and casual. First, honorific is 격식체. 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 This is the polite form used for formal situations. And this is what you would usually learn in textbooks. But what we use more is informal type. So within the informal type, there is polite and casual. Polite speech is called 존댓말. 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 In English, we'll just call this polite form. On the other hand, casual form is used in informal situations is 반말. 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 And in English, we will just call it casual. Now you know the names. You might be wondering when exactly do you use which form. First, 격식체, the honorific form, is used in official situations. For example, in very formal relationships such as official publishing or news reporting. Usually the case is that you're speaking to an older person. Next, 존댓말, polite form is used in daily lives to people of older age. For example, you use 존댓말 at work or to people who are not close to you but in daily lives. 반말, the casual form, is used in your daily lives mostly to younger people. It can also be used among friends or if the speakers are close relationships. So then, how can you distinguish the three? How can you use them in your sentences? The simple logic is that you conjugate your words. You need to change the forms of subject and verb depending on the level of speech that you want. The most simple way to distinguish is to look at the ending suffix of a sentence. Honorific form mostly ends with suffix nida, like 알겠습니다. 알겠습니다. This means okay, and you can see that you put 니다 at the end. 존댓말, 
usually ends with you. For example, 알겠어요. 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 See, it has the same 알겠, but it has the suffix you instead of 니다. 반말 does not have 니다 nor you. So it's just 알겠어. 알겠어. A lot of textbooks in and Korean lessons teach this 격식체, the honorific form, because it's actually the easiest to teach and the easiest to learn. But in actual Korean conversations in our daily lives, we barely, barely use this 격식체. We only use 존댓말 and 반말. And that is probably why you will never hear in K-dramas or K-pop lyrics the sentences that you learn from Korean textbooks. So in my channel, I'm going to teach these two forms mostly, 존댓말 and 반말. But in this lesson, let's look at all three of them just to see the difference. So another example is I love you. In 격식체, it is 사랑합니다. 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 See again the 니다 at the end. In 존댓말, it is 사랑해요. 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 Again, there's the 요 at the end. In 반말, it's just 사랑해. 사랑해. Let's see one more example. This time, the sentence is I am Kim. In 격식체, it is 저는 Kim입니다. 저는 Kim입니다. 저는 Kim입니다. See the 니다 again? In 존댓말, it is 저는 Kim이에요. 저는 Kim이에요. 저는 Kim이에요. In 반말, it is 나는 Kim이야. 나는 Kim이야. 나는 Kim이야. In this example, you can see that both the verb and the subject is conjugated. The verb is conjugated just like the previous ones. 격식체 with 니다, 존댓말 with 요, and 반말 with neither of them. Also here, you can see that the subject is conjugated. For 격식체 and 존댓말, I was 저. 저는 Kim입니다. 저는 Kim이에요. Whereas in 반말, I was 나. 나는 Kim이야. 나는 Kim이야. About this conjugation, I will go into it further in upcoming videos. So, Today we learn the difference on when to use different forms of speech and how to distinguish them. I'll come back with more videos on how to conjugate subjects and verbs. 